This is me at 16 years old. As you can see, I had to start from scratch. I never measured my arms back in those days, but I'd assume they were 12 inches or even smaller. Fast forward many years later, and I've got 17 inch arms while being at a relatively low body fat percentage. If you're wondering how I did this, in this video, I'm gonna break down everything about my approach to gaining arm size. I'm 25 years old now, but it only took me two years from the ages of 16 to 18 to achieve 17 inch arms, although at the time I wasn't lean. At one point, I even measured my arms at 18 and three quarters with a pump at about 205 body weight. It doesn't take ages to put on a good amount of arm mass, but it does take time, proper exercise selection, programming, and consistency. Before we get into it, I know big compound movements will always work the arms to an extent, but I've always been a big believer in going hard and heavy with the isolation movements. A lot of people hammer their compounds with great intensity, but get lazy or bored when it comes to arm training. You need to bring the same intensity to arm training. This does not mean you should slack on your compounds either, as they are an important part of a complete physique. For the progression method, you'll want to start with a weight you can perform safely with good form. Each session you'll aim to either increase the weight or the repetitions you're performing, sometimes even manipulating how many sets you're doing. I recommend starting with two exercises for the biceps and two exercises for the triceps for three sets on each exercise. This can be done after compounds or on a separate arm day. Next I'll be showing my go-to isolation exercises for bigger arms. The alternating dumbbell curl. Do these with a controlled negative and don't hesitate to go heavy once your form is good. I've done many sets in the 6-8 to eight rep range and it's been a huge factor in my bicep growth. Most people tend to stop on these when it burns too much rather than actually getting close to muscular failure. I do one heavy top set and two lighter back down sets. The rep ranges I use for this exercise is 6-8 to eight on the heavy sets and 10-15 to 15 on the back down sets. The dumbbell hammer curl. This is my secondary focus for biceps and it's also free forearm work. I do a top set of 8 to 10 and two back down sets of 10 to 12. Exercise preference will vary a lot depending on the person, so these are by no means the only movements to get big arms, but they're my personal favorites and ones I've seen a lot of people make gains from. At the very least, they could be a good starting point or addition to your training. Tricep W bar pushdown. Like the alternating dumbbell curl, I feel a lot of people don't take this movement too seriously and just go light on it. If you want big arms, I think you should really push for progression on this. For this exercise, I do a heavy top set of 8 to 10 and two back down sets of 12 to 20. Overhead rope tricep extension. This is my secondary focus for the tricep, but it covers all heads of the tricep. You can use one or two ropes. I do a top set of 8 to 10, then two back down sets of 12 to 15. A very important tip too is to track your workouts. If you did 10, 9, 8 reps last week with your bicep curls, you'll want to have this information written down in a logbook somewhere so you know exactly what you have to do to beat your sets the next session to ensure progression. You can beat the sets by either going up in weight for each set and copying the reps, or adding a rep to each set. If you're eating enough calories, you won't even have to force this much. If you're trying to put real size on your arms, you'll want to be in a caloric surplus. 200 to 400 calories over your maintenance with a solid amount of protein should be enough to put size on your arms over a long enough period of time. If you're a beginner, you'll see huge gains in 6 months to 2 years of training your arms. Another important note, to achieve lean 17 inch arms naturally, you'll likely have to get to a point where you have nearly 18 inch arms or over while bulked up. This may sound crazy if you're in the beginning of your journey, but I believe this is possible for a large amount of people given enough time and consistency. Good luck and thanks for watching.